Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by blenderschool.webs.com and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a glossy text in blender which you can see in this picture right here um, it's very simple to create and we'll be using cycles render engine for this I use blender version 2.72b for this let's create this so open up blender and start a default scene so this is a default scene in blender we don't want the cube and the lamp so select the lamp by right clicking on it and make sure that you are holding down shift and then to delete both of them press x and then delete now let's add the text so press shift a and then select text zoom in using the scroll wheel on your mouse now rotate the text by pressing r and then x then 90 then enter now let's change the text so come in the edit mode now change your text I'm gonna write blender you can write anything you want after changing your text come back to the object mode so now we have the text now drag out this panel to view more properties then go to the object data section by clicking on this F icon come down and um, in the font section change the regular font by clicking on this open button right here and open the font the name of the font is walkway um, yeah I think it's walkway wait let me um, yeah so it's over here yeah it's walkway black you can download this font from blenderschool.webs.com the link will be in the description install this font and open it um, this font is good for this scene um, once you have loaded this font we're gonna change the, the geometry of this text so change the extrude value here to 0 0.07 change the bevel depth value to 0 0.02 and change the resolution to 5 now come down and uh, come in the paragraph section and change the alignment from left to center now come up and change the fill type to none now press shift D to duplicate the text and press the escape key and change the fill type of this text to be both change the bevel depth value of this text to be 0 and the resolution also to be 0 now select the outer text by right clicking on it and um, uh, convert this to a mesh by pressing alt c and then select mesh from curve middle surf text this will convert our text into a mesh and now we can edit it uh, so come in the edit mode first press A once or twice so everything is selected all the vertices should be selected and um, come down in this tools panel and change the and uh, select the remove doubles option This has removed about 3000 vertices of this text. After doing this, you can come out of the edit mode and go to the object mode. Now come in the modifiers tab, then select add modifier, and then select the edge split modifier. Also apply this modifier. Now come in the view menu and then select front to go into the front view. From the view menu again, select view perspective orthographic to go into the orthographic view. Let's create a background for our scene. So uh, for the background we are going to use a plane. So press shift A and then from mesh select plane.
scale this plane by pressing S and then 100 and then enter then press R then X then 90 then enter now come in the view menu then select right to go into the right view and using this green arrow move the plane just behind the text like that yes fine yeah. after doing this you can come in the view menu again and then select front to come back to the front view press Z to go into the wireframe mode then press shift A and then from mesh select plane this plane is going to be the lamp for our scene and uh, this plane will uh, cast light only on this top region of the text. Rotate this plane by pressing R, then X, then 90 and then enter. Then press S, then Z for the Z -ax uh, Z axis and then scale this plane, um, the Z axis about this much. Move this plane. Um, over here using the blue arrow then press S and then X for the X axis and make the plane a bit more longer then come in the right view again by going to the view menu and then select right and move this plane in front of the text using the green arrow so now we have a basic scene let's add the material so come in the view menu and select front again select the outer text by right clicking on it then come in the materials tab then click new change the blender window to cycles window then click on the use notes button change the surface type to make shader and change the first shader to diffuse and the second shader uh, to glossy change the roughness value of the glossy shader to be zero and uh, you can change the color of the diffuse shader to a black color uh, also change the color of the glossy shader to be a dark gray color Change the glossy type from GGX to Beckman. Now select the uh, inner text by right clicking on it and then click on the small button and select the previous material or the material one. Then click on this two button to create a separate material. Change the color of the diffuse shader to a complete white color and the color of the glossy shader to white but not complete white now we have the materials for our text let's create the material for this plane which is going to act as a lamp right click, right, right click on it to select it and then click on new change the surface type to emission so uh, let's keep the default strength uh, value of 1. Now let's um, add a material for the plane. So right click on right click on the plane to select it and um, click on new. We're gonna use the default surface of diffuse and change the color of this diffuse shader to be something like red. Now we have a basic scene with materials. Let's save our project. So come in the file menu and then select save. Select the directory and save your uh, project. Um, yeah. So after saving it, uh, now, we, uh, now we can just change the uh, world's color. So come in the world's tab and change this color. I'm going to use a black color. If you render this now, this plane will be visible in the uh, in the rendering uh, during the rendering time. 
um, if you see now uh, you can see that the plane is visible we don't want this plane to be seen during the render but we want it to uh, cast light on the text so let's hide this uh, this plane select this uh, plane by right clicking on it and then come in this cube section or the object section and um, come down and open the ray visibility section over here and uncheck the camera checkbox this will hide this plane but the plane will be able to cast light on the text now let's set up the camera view make sure you're in the front view if you are not in the front view, come in the view menu and then select front. Once you are in the front view, press Ctrl Alt Number Pad Zero uh, to come into the to align the camera to the front view. So now we have now we have the camera over here. Let's move the camera a bit. So press G and then Y for the Y axis and move it away from the text so that the whole text is seen and press G and then uh, the, uh, the Z key for the Z axis and move the camera a bit yeah yeah this is fine let's save our project again so press Ctrl S then select this option now we are ready to render our scene so come in the render tab and come down and open the sampling section change the number of render samples to about 200 uh, 200 samples is minimum for the scene uh, I use 200 samples for this one and I got this kind of result so it's a good idea to at least use 200 samples uh, before rendering you can change the viewport shading to rendered to just see how the uh, rendered image will look after rendering so I think uh, it's look it's looking pretty good and it's similar to this but only thing is that I had edited a tech I edited the text a bit in this uh, so it's a bit different um, to see how it was done you can download the finished dot blend file from blender school dot webs dot com of this uh, of this project and yeah I think the um, it's fine yeah it's looking good the scene so we can render it so come back to the solid view come up and you can click on this render button right here and this will start to render once you have rendered you should get something like this only thing is that the text may be a bit different because I have edited the text a bit um, you can download the finished dot blend file uh, from blenderschool.webs.com and also uh, uh, submit what you have created over there and um, thanks for watching please subscribe and leave a comment